Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back with another video for the day, and I'm wanting to talk about the Biden administration, uh, their illegal immigrant smuggling, what they're doing with the DHS, and just how that's a big problem in general. But before I continue, in my description on YouTube, pinned comments down below uh, on YouTube as well, um, will be my Rumble and my Minds. Go ahead and go follow those if you want. They're my alt text, awesome platforms. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. So it was released uh, by the New York Post. Uh, they had a bombshell report that exposed the Biden administration with assistance of DHS and other other conglomerates smuggling illegally illegal immigrants into the United States. Um, as the contractor said, uh, I believe he works for the DHS or he's just a contractor that is like working with but not for. Basically was asked a question by this undercover guy who's recording it all about uh like why are we doing this and blah 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 and the contractors are saying i don't know but we're told to keep this on the hush hush don't talk about it um we got to keep this on the low we don't want this out to the american people because we're betraying the american people and yes they are <laughs> they're funneling in millions of illegal immigrants into the country and now look immigration isn't necessarily a bad thing okay it's not if you have people that are genuinely trying to come into your country for a better life, they're most likely going to try and assimilate, assimilate to your culture and so on, right? Because they're trying to form a new life there. But they're still probably going to maintain subcultures and all that, which is what makes America beautiful is the fact that we have countless subcultures. But we're in a culture clash currently because of too many different cultures. And it doesn't have to be necessarily the subcultures, but more of the predominant ones. Um, but this is an issue. Majority of these immigrants, uh, I'm tempted to say probably even 80% of them, vote predominantly blue. So when we're talking the Biden administration working with the DHS and other conglomerates to smuggle illegal immigrants into the country, essentially what they're doing, as the contractor said, they're betraying the American people, is they're flooding our country and communities with illegal immigration so that way they can turn these communities from red to blue so they can get votes. They're taking advantage of the situation and they're doing it intentionally. It's the same with pretty much everything else we're seeing with bad policy, spending, all the centralization, so on. This is just another failsafe that they're using, even if they get busted. I mean, which they did, nothing's happening. There's so many things that have happened with this administration, I mean, <laughs> regime, sorry, that... He should already have been impeached for <laughs> countless times. I mean, the Democrats tried to impeach Trump just for freaking breathing wrong. And not literally, but you get what I mean. It's an exaggeration. They're... But Joe Biden could literally go outside and shoot a kid in the head and no one would give a damn. No one, like, well, clearly we would, but their freaking mindless followers aren't going to care. They'll find some way to try and be like, oh, it was justified. He was a Trump supporter or he, they were against the narrative. And, and of course, I'm exaggerating this too. It's a big generalization, but I'm sure most of us have the sanity to understand that, yeah, even though it's an over-exaggeration, it's not really far from the truth. Now, I'm not really happy about this. It's really rough as well when they're doing all this crazy illegal immigrant smuggling by the hundreds of thousands to millions, right? And then simultaneously, so many other states are trying to remove voter ID registration and voter signature requirements and all these other things that hurt the integrity of our election, uh, all while bringing in these people that aren't going to have it anyway, and they're going to be allowed to vote regardless we're not going to have any proof of their ID, verification, nothing if these laws pass. Pennsylvania being one of them that tried to do it. Countless others as well. I believe, uh, I can't remember if it was Arizona or not. Uh, but nonetheless, I digress. I want to continue on the fact that it's just, it's bad. It's really bad. It, it's all screaming takeover to me. And it's because that's exactly what it is. We've read this in the history books. We are on like, let's say this is a 50 chapter book on the beginning stages takeover and formation of a totalitarian government we are on like chapter 10 and we still have time to stop it we don't have time to stop the economic devastation that's going to be coming in the couple of years so i'm hoping all of us buckle up and get our shit straight because we're going to have to help our communities and we're going to have to have circle circles of support groups to help take care of our own because it's going to get bad 
And even if things get better politically and we start getting lower taxes and other factors and good policy, it's not going to stop what's coming in 23, 24 when it comes to economic ruin. It's already too late. We'll have to get through it while things stabilize and there's going to be a lot of human suffering. And hopefully it changes politically because with this influx of a lot of illegals, and all these voter uh, voter laws and changes and sneaky things that they keep sneaking in, they're sur they're subverting our country and they're taking it over. And that's why they're trying to centralize everything: medical, housing, food. You know, uh, they were crapping on farmers and talking about how farmers need to give up their land to the government. Uh, we have housing markets, you know, being mass purchased by BlackRock and other conglomerates that are then working with our federal government to use those as assets to rent them back out to people, centralizing the housing market. Some of these places actually kick you out as well if you're not vexed. And then we already have the FDA that tried to restrict uh, a bunch of medical treatments from Florida. Um, and now they're doing it to the rest of the country. What do you think they're going to do when they fully centralize the medical field? They're going to they're going to starve the resources of their opposition. The same with housing and food and et cetera. It's what these kinds of people do. So I'm just helping people wake up and realize what's coming. Because if we're ever going to get back into normal good times, freedom's going to have to grow from blood-soaked soil. It's the only way. Thanks for listening. Go check out my rumble and my minds down in the comments below or in description. Y'all take it easy and have a good one.